Hello friends, uh, here is a third type of problem in section formula of coordinate geometry. Question is saying here, find the coordinates of the points of trisection of the line segment joining the points A2, negative 2 and B, negative 7, 4, right? So we need to find out the two such points uh, that will divide this line joining this point, right? This point and this point joining line. So let me draw a rough diagram over here. Uh, suppose this is uh, our line this is point A and this is point B right its coordinate is 2 comma minus 2 right and here B is negative 7 comma 4 so here are such two points suppose here 1 and here is 1 right suppose this is P and this is Q point this P and Q point is dividing this whole line in equal three sections it means question is saying trisection right so this is equals to this is equals to this I, I mean AP is equals to PQ is equals to QB right so we need to find out the coordinates of this P point and Q point let me say this point is X1 Y1 and this Q point is X2 and Y2 right so I need to find out the coordinates this P and Q so uh, if I want to use the section formula then I must know the ratio by which it is cutting this right so just see here uh, this part this part this part there are three equal parts and we can say since this is two equal parts and this is one equal part so this is one part and this is one and two equal parts that's why it's two equal part so what can I say now that this P point is dividing this AB line in the ratio of one ratio two right one ratio two this P point is dividing and if you talk about this Q points then see in left side there are two equal parts right so if you come here right if you come here there is two equal parts I mean yeah and here is one equal part right so this Q point is dividing this AB line in two ratio one and this P point is dividing this whole AB line in one ratio two right so let me first find out the value of this 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 p point i mean the coordinates of this p point right so let me find out first okay so let me write first the section formula that is x comma y is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 again m1 y2 plus m2 y1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 right this is our section formula now I'm applying this section formula in this in this problem right so let me first find out the P that is x1 y1 is equals to m1 x2 so let me suppose this is uh, this point is x2 y2 and uh, means uh, here in for this formula only x2 y2 and this will work as x1 y1 so m1 m1 is here 1 so 1 times x2 that is minus 7 minus 7 plus m2 m2 is here 2 times x1 that is 2 right whole divided by m1 plus m2 that is m1 is 1 and m2 is 2 plus 2 right and again m1 y2 so m1 is here 1 and y2 here is 4 plus m2 again here 2 times y1 y1 is here minus 2 that is negative 2 right whole divided by m1 plus m2 that is 1 plus 2 again right so again pxy is equals to 1 times minus 7 it will be minus 7 plus 2 times 2 that is 4 whole divided by 3 right again 4 times 1 that is 4 and 2 times 2 but negative so it will be negative 4 right so negative 4 1 upon 2 right 1 plus 2 that will be 3 right so what we got here that s minus 4 plus 4 so plus minus it will be minus always the sign of the greater and the operation will be negative also means a minus will be so 7 plus 4 will be uh, 3 here yeah, since it is negative so negative 3 divided by 3 and 4 minus 4 that is 0 divided by 3 right so it will be minus 1 comma 0 right so we got the value of this point <coughs> that is negative 1 comma 0 right now we need to find out the value of this point what is the value of this point Q right uh, find this color is the best right so see here friend 
if you want to do with the section formula that is 2 ratio 1 also it is also right and if you want to do this here see here p and q right so here pq is equals to qb so i can say that's the point q is the midpoint of this ab line right sorry pq line now only see this this much right only see this much here this q point is the midpoint of the pb line also because this part is equals to this part so i can use the section formula as i used to do or I, 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 I really do uh, yeah I just do it like this or I can use also here the midpoint formula right so I think midpoint formula is the best for here right uh, midpoint formula is just the average of these two points right the middle point right so let me use here midpoint formula that is x2 it is x2 let me write properly okay the q point that is x2 comma y2 is equals to right midpoint formula I'm applying here x1 plus x2 upon 2 again y1 plus y2 upon 2 right or we can say that ju just average of these p points so average of x coordinate that is minus 1 plus right minus 1 and this minus 7 average of this x coordinate that is negative 1 plus minus negative 7 all divided by 2 and again y1 plus y2 or the average of this 0 and 4 that is 0 plus 4 divided by 2 right so it will be minus so minus 1 plus minus minus 7 upon 2 4 upon 2 right so it will be minus 8 upon 2 again 4 upon 2 that is 2 right so overall what we got that the q point is equals to minus 4 comma 2 right so we got the value here that is minus 4 comma 2 so we got the answer here that <coughs> here the line was a b and the two points here p and q was trisecting this line so p point we got that is minus one zero and the q point is minus four comma two so like this we have to solve this kinds of problem all right either the line is uh, dividing into four equal parts or five equal parts or seven equal parts we just have to first find out the ratio in which ratio the points are being cut right so once we get this all well, we can easily apply the section formula or the midpoint formula according to the situation and get the value, right? So we'll be meeting in the next video with a different type of problem in section formula, okay? Bye-bye for now.